Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and today I'm working on some. Eventually, you can turn them into rolls and then trim them off for little uh, clusters. This has been done by quite a few different uh, junk journal YouTuber people, uh, specifically that I can think of Gail Ignacinelli, who I think she got it from. Uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations. So, but lots of others have done variations. So this is going to be my variation. Uh, most of them did it with tracing paper, and so instead of tracing paper, I have a ton of this these sheets of vellum, which I never seem to know what to do with. So I'm going to use my vellum today. So that's. The deal so let's see what our supplies are are i basically have i've got two different colors of book pages i've got some two different sheets of map pages some green graph paper i've got a pile of lace over here and I've got some flowers. This is going to be my top sort of focal point are going to be the flowers. I have these little uh, number squares and just other little different embellishments. And then probably the using also these circles with little images on them. So I'll see if I can incorporate those as well. But yeah, well, let's get started. I'm gonna start out with layering the book pages and the map pages, and then go from there. So I basically just took, cause I have a ton of these 12 by 12 uh, vellum sheets. So I'm just gonna cut strips of them. My strips are about one and a half inches wide. I'm hoping to get some smaller clusters out of these. so. You might want to do yours wider if you want bigger clusters. So yeah, let's just go ahead. I've got my glue. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac glue, which is my favorite for paper. And I'm hoping this is kind of like a scrap buster combination. Also just having some st oh, stash builder. That's what I was going to say. So yeah, just going to place these on. Wait, I really cut those all the same shape. <laughs> that looks funny. Uh, I guess I could just do three strips at a time. Why not, right? Uh, you can also glue these strips together, which eventually I will do. So basically you just take one end and glue it together and then it you could just roll it up and then cut it off as needed and I I kind of don't I really don't recommend using staples for this I kind of considered it but given the fact that you're gonna be cutting these apart if you cut it at the wrong place then you're you're gonna have pieces falling all over the place. So, you probably don't want that. I don't want that. And we should probably also glue pretty much the whole uh, piece of paper for that reason. I'm just gonna do two, I think, at a time. Hang off over there. I was hoping to leave some of that vellum showing, but apparently I didn't do that. That way, if I do cut it, you know, you just end up cutting them at random locations that you're kind of covered, I guess. I think maybe one more small little map piece. 
here, perhaps. All right, so now I've kind of got that base. I think at this point I could do just a couple of these. I don't want a lot of these, but I'm gonna glue the glue on this edge. Okay, kind of in the middle, because I'm gonna want that to be covered up anyway. Now we'll do lace, I think. And I, I guess I could just do a piece of lace all down here, but I'm not sure that's exactly what I want. But it would be easy if I did that. Well, let me try it and just see how it looks. I'm gonna have to put glue all the way down here. I mean, it looks nice. <laughs> Whether or not it works well, that's a different story. There we go. Let's take that, trim it. Yeah, that works really easy and well, actually. I'm going to do that again. And if I'm smart, I'm not going to, I'm going to use a tool to smooth that down so I don't get glue all over my fingers. There we go. Well, those look really cute so far. Okay, I like that. Now we can do top embellishments. I went for a lot of green in the base, so I hope this red doesn't look too, I don't know if, now I'm questioning this because I don't want it to look Christmassy. I don't think it will. I think it'll be okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do those last I think because they're smaller. I have bicycles. Which these are kind of cute little deals. This Pop a couple of those around here. There, that should be plenty of those. All right, let's do flowers. I'm ready. Just okay. It's cute. And these flowers I just cut out from magazines. Well, I'm doing good at not overthinking the how it looks so far, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> Sometimes you know how that oh, lost one. Oh, you're gone. Try this littler flower. Oh, oh 
geez. <laughs> right over there. Um, goodness. Okay. All right. So far, let's just take a look at this. Maybe this way. Ooh, looks pretty good. All right. Does it need anything else? I don't know. Let's just look at this pile here. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Maybe some circles. This is pretty. There we go, like that. I had a root pursuit. <laughs> I had my own stamps. Stick with the pink and green kind of theme, maybe. Put that there. Got these. Can do that. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, so we've got one, we could do another circle up here. Those are, all right, so I don't think another circle looks good with that, but we could do a circle down here. There we go. Maybe, oop, sticking. That looks pretty good. All right, so I got a hole right here that we need to fill in. Let's see if we've got something different to use. I've got a bathtub. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I think this needs to be trimmed. And then it'll look better. I'll just trim all the way around that. And then we'll see it looks much better than it did. Here we go. See, look at that. The stamp. good. This could use something up here. Oop. But I still want something else up there. Maybe, maybe this hand. I had a couple more. I thought I had some smaller ones. Blue it is. Make it pink. You're getting pink of five. Okay. I don't know why they look funny if they're pointing like down and up, but the shape looks good in that direction. I've got this one too. 
And we have this one. <laughs> okay, after all that, then I like. I don't know why I think pink, making something pink is going to make it better. <laughs> but I do. I like it. So this already has like a sticky on it. I don't know. I'll try it. There we go. Well, that's that I just really like. That just all works. This one I had to futz with it. That's funny. Okay, so now I can glue these together. I can glue it basically like that. If I can just, yeah, flip that circle under there. And then, I've got this snippet roll that came apart. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> By the way, you cannot see the lace on this one <laughs> hardly at all. Just like completely disappears under there. Oh well. All right. I don't know if I want to roll it. That seems like it would kind of wreck it. But, okay, let's just try. I'm going to try to cut it. So, I could do like this as one. That's really small. I'm really in, I'm re like really looking forward to having some smaller ones. So, you wouldn't have to cut these so small. They could be, you know, a little bit longer. But That one. See when you don't glue it all the way on. Then it comes off. Let's just tuck that in there. I'm gonna make this one small and then get back to using my focal point, maybe. Got a bicycle in there. I'm gonna cut these this point. So there's that one and that one. Okay. So now we'll just do a little, oh, that was the whole thing. Cool. All right. Oh, that one quick. <laughs> there we go. Well, I like that. Now I've got a lot more clusters. I can put them in my cluster pile. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going with this. So if you have some vellum that you can use up, you can try that. That's my little spin on it. And of course, everybody does a different combination of scraps and so forth. So, you know, you kind of look through and, you know, what do you have a lot of? That's kind of how I do it. So I hope this was helpful. If you are interested in seeing some of the items I have in my Etsy shop, you can click on the link in the description. I have a few more things added in there lately, so you can check those out and a couple of digitals too. And as always, thanks for coming along. I'll talk to you later.